Our story began about 200 years ago. The Society of Sisters Faithful Companions of Jesus was founded in Amiens, France by Marie Madeleine Douai in 1820. Our sisters now live in Asia, Australia, Europe and the Americas and are involved in a variety of ministries in each place. Some work in schools, some give retreats or spiritual accompaniment, and others work with poor and marginalized people. All around the world, we are one body committed to living our charism of faithful companionship with Jesus. And what does this companionship mean? We try to live companionship in different ways, to be companions to Jesus, companions to each other, and companions to us. The first relationship, and not the first, sorry, I give you a wrong answer. The only relationship is my relationship with God, and it means to be single-hearted. Single-heartedness means pure intentions. So whatever I do, I really want to do it for God only. We live an Asian spirituality. This means we seek to discover God in all things and to strive to be contemplatives in action so that all that we do flows from our relationship with God who is the source of love and life. I was struck by what Pope Francis said in his letter to consecrated people a few years ago. He said that in a world where different cultures have so much difficulty living together, where there is so much oppression and inequality, we are called to offer a concrete model of community in which we respect each other, in which we share our gifts and we can live as brothers and sisters. Uh, community life sometimes can be challenging, as can any life, but that's okay, it's, it's real. And to build community, to be close to my companions, to settle difference, to say sorry, to forgive, that's all part of real life. <laughs> Community life is a very interesting life. What gives me joy is that I have a community to go home to and together with them we become living witnesses to the love that we receive from God and be able to share them with others. As I suggest, we find joy in being single mission. Our recent chapter course has us to widen our circle of love, to embrace all people, especially those who experience exclusion, discrimination, and injustice, and to care for our community. My main ministry is in the FCG Learning and Development Center in Bagong Sidangan. I work there five days a week as a nurse and give health education. Caring for people is a great privilege and opportunity to know the people when they need help. And one thing that really gives me courage and joy is looking at them become self-reliant. My joy in working with young people is being with them gives me life because they are very full of life, the energy, you know, as well as seeing them growing to be confident in themselves they develop their talents and also the joy of seeing them together with other young people i think what gives me joy is working i just love the fact that people are so trusting they share their story with you so many times in our work we listen to such moving stories people's bravery in the midst of struggles to make the best they can for themselves and their families. There's such goodness in people. Sometimes we look at the news and see all the disasters and negativity. But in my experience, most people are living lives of goodness. They do the very best they can, even in very difficult situations. And you can see God's work in them. As FCJs, we are women of the resurrection, trusting in the grace of God, bringing hope and energy in a world where there are such longing for healing, justice, and reconciliation.